So last week, uh, Drew Brees gets hurt, and then Jameis Winston, we think, is going to start, and then Taysom Hill starts. Now, Taysom Hill had only completed 18 passes. And there was a story this weekend that some of the Saints players uh, didn't really like it. Yeah, and some of the Dolphins players didn't really like it when Ryan Fitzpatrick sat. But Tua playing and Taysom Hill playing is very similar, and I'll get to that in a second. So I've always said this about running quarterbacks. Running quarterbacks work. They just don't last. But the element of surprise works. The wildcat offense worked in this league for a year. Hiking the ball to a running back worked. Even New England tried it in Belichick. It worked. It didn't last. Lamar Jackson worked. Colin Kaepernick worked. Tim Tebow won seven straight games. It doesn't last. The league figures it out. If you look at the teams that won yesterday... Their running backs ran and their quarterbacks threw. That's what eventually works. But Taysom Hill was effective for a game. Because Sean Payton here isn't making a decision for the future of the Saints. He's making a decision for three weeks. <laughs> Sean Payton wants to win three games and then Drew Brees is back. That's it. And for three games, his argument is Taysom Hill, element of the surprise, is a more athletic version of Tebow. He's a much better thrower of the football than Tebow. And we've seen Lamar and Kaepernick and Tebow. It catches people off guard. It takes months, sometimes a year, for people to figure it out. And Atlanta's defense was hot and looked lost. Atlanta didn't quite know what to do yesterday. And the other thing is, <clears throat> when Brian Flores started two over Ryan Fitzpatrick, think about that. Why? Well, because Fitzpatrick was winning, he's been in the league longer, and yet they went with Tua. Why? Because Flores said, you know, my defense is really good, and I don't need a ton from my quarterback. What I need is no mistakes, and Fitzpatrick's a gunslinger. And a lot of the players in Miami didn't like it, but Tua came in, and he was initially a better fit for the defense. Okay, and similarly, Taysom Hill. Saints have a really good defense, but Taysom Hill runs... Eats the clock, takes some wear and tear off Alvin Kamara, and doesn't have a history of lots of mistakes like Jameis. And so the Dolphins made a decision to go with a kid that had never played in the NFL over Ryan Fitzpatrick, who was hot, to help their defense. And Taysom Hill helps your defense. He's not going to turn it over. He's going to run and eat the clock. He takes some wear and tear off Alvin Kamara. And so... Long term, there's a reason duct tape in life works. Duct tape buys you time until you get a, su a solution for something or you can buy something or something gets fixed. Taysom Hill could very well just be the world's best duct tape. All you want to do is win three games. And Sean Payton, for the record, is now 6 0 using midseason backups. He knows what he's doing. And don't even ask me why I've ever bet Atlanta in my life. I'm now 0 for 400 betting the Falcons. But Atlanta came in playing pretty good defense, and Taysom Hill gave them problems. And never forget this. I, I go back to this. Tim Tebow won seven games in a row and couldn't throw the ball. Not, not close to Taysom Hill. And Taysom's a much better athlete. Is that the element of surprise, the run and shoot worked for a while in the NFL, the wildcat worked. Atlanta looked lost. And, and this, this is duct tape. I mean, Sean Payton just wants to win three games. That's all he wants. He wants to win three games. Jameis, to me, is the better long-term answer. We're not talking long-term. <laughs> We're talking three weeks, maybe less than a month, and it worked. Don't want to spend too much time on this because Philadelphia is not worth a discussion. But Doug Peterson, the coach, he's being asked now, should you just bench Carson Wentz? Um, if you're reckless as a quarterback, Carson Wentz and Sam Darnold. They're reckless. They have an it. They have talent. If 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 my quarterback doesn't have an it, doesn't have an arm, it, there's got to be something special for me to give you another chance or another chance. Darnold and Carson Wentz, because there's a certain athletic ability and it factor, they'll get other chances. This morning, I thought there's seven teams, eight teams that will probably draft a quarterback. Jags, New England, Washington, Indy, Chicago, San Francisco, Denver. I can make the argument they all need quarterbacks, maybe a couple more. Wentz and Darnold are on the market, and there's teams that need to be more dynamic at that position. But I, but I almost wonder if it's time for a reset. It's just, it's just in the last couple years, it doesn't feel right. You know, I was in a conversation with my wife not long ago, and I said, 
if you want to buy a house, don't talk yourself into buying a new house. Let the house talk you into buying it. Or in other words, if something doesn't feel right, don't don't talk yourself into it. This puppy doesn't feel right right now. I, I don't know what it is. Chris Cooley, the Pro Bowl tight end who played in that division and against Wentz, was on our show a couple of weeks ago and said, something's just not right. You know, certain sports, golf, baseball, and quarterback, certain sports, certain positions, confidence matters. Sam Darnold doesn't feel like he trusts the Jets. I'm not sure the Jets trust him. Uh, and Carson Wentz, something's wrong upstairs. I don't have the answers. Divorces happen. Reset. He'll get an offer. Carson Wentz will get an offer. Darnold will get an offer. But right now, it just doesn't look right. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.